Hi everybody, we are Ivo, Mira, and me, Maya. Sailing around the world aboard our 38-foot catamaran, Fata Morgana. Previously, we took you to Mount Piti, a remote island in French Polynesia, where Bowie and Deborah joined us aboard Fata Morgana and together we sailed to the next atoll, Mopija. Mopija is a remote atoll at the end of the world and our last stop in French Polynesia. Mopija is only accessible by sailboat, so only cruisers like us can stop for a visit. The very first day, my mom and dad went fishing together with Bowie and Kevin, our friends. About a dozen people live in Mopija, completely isolated from the rest of the world. There is no electricity on the island, no internet and no television. There is no store or market and the cargo ship brings provisions only twice a year. Life here is very different and the few permanent inhabitants have formed a very tight, off-grid community based on sharing, helping each other and living off the land and the sea. When someone goes fishing, he catches enough fish for everyone and distributes it to his neighbors. Sharks are many in the lagoon, small black tips and reef sharks who don't attack people. But they are very curious and a bit too interested in our fishing activities. Bowie says if they get too close, just punch them on the nose. Here, every family keeps in barrels or tied on a string, like puppets, a few big coconut crabs to eat later. On this island, covered with coconut palms, the coconut crabs are many. Everywhere we went, people gave us coconuts and coconut crabs. Then 
There is one road running parallel to the beach connecting six or seven small houses. Our friends Bowie, Deborah and their son Kevin live in the middle. Uzale promone palapa? Oh, kaput, yeah. This is very good. This is. Sayo, kare, opa. This is good, opa, oasis, huh? They have a lot with coconut palms and their main activity is making copra, which they export twice a year on the cargo ships. Copra is dried coconut used in cosmetic industry to make sunscreen, soap and other products. It is the main source of income for the people of French Polynesia. In Mopija, cruisers are welcome to stay as long as they like and help with the copra production if they want to. Voilà. Our first coconut crab. Bowie showed my dad how to hold it and how to kill it. Deborah showed my mom how to clean it. Then they boiled it and we took it on the boat to eat it. Yeah, we don't have a big enough dish. Oh my god, look at it. And the island that uh, we are right now, 
It's full of those crap. It's like hundreds and hundreds of them. So they're not endangered or anything. And people eat them all the time, every day. You just go out, grab a few, and eat. Broken, broken. Whoa. Look at that. Okay, just for the record, they have a uh, two pair of claws, like the front claws. Super dangerous. Super powerful. Super powerful. And on their claws, on the front claws, they have something like teeth. And they can break anything. They go through the coconuts. They can break knives. People put them in buckets and they go make a hole in the bucket and go out. Escape. A second pair of Close on the hind legs here, little ones. First, you remove the snake. Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay. Then you chop a leg. Tastiest thing I ever tried. Oh my god. This is so good. It's really difficult to eat though. It's really, really, really tasty. So everywhere, this, these are the little legs, small legs. Look at that, look at that. Mm. Those are my body that you're eating. Mm. It's really, really tasty. It's soft. It has a little hint of coconut. It's the tastiest thing ever, really. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Wow, and there's so much. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. There's so much meat in this. Les crabes de cocotier. Exactly. So good, man. Look at that. Look at that. We don't have tools big enough. And it's a messy. Ah. Oh. Maya, you're missing out, Maya. I'm so happy you don't like it. You think it's look, it's like my hand, man. Everyone. Spaghetti. Is this intestine? <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, that's the tail. Now we expect some beautiful uh, surprise to come out of the tail. I don't think we're gonna eat this. And there is a akushnat. Yep. They said that that's the best thing. <coughs> the taste is called it mayonnaise. Ivo, I dare you to try it. I will try it, but. Actually, it's very tasty. What? Believe it or not, it's very tasty. After the whole crap, this thing is like, oh my gosh. 
Almost ready. I mean, we have freaking savages, man. Look at it. That's the taste of coconut. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay, so the stuff from the tail, it's like a, it's a paste. It's bitter. It's like a mayonnaise, like a butter. Like. I never tried anything like it. It's really hard to describe. It has still the coconut aftertaste. It's not even gooey, you know? It's unbelievable. I thought it would be gooey, but it's not. It's, very... mm. it's very bitter, very strong taste. <laughs> Look at what we're eating. Eating shitty stuff, man. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but the stuff from the crab's tail was half-digested crab poop, and my parents loved it. I didn't like the coconut crabs. I had spam sandwiches instead. Next, Bowie took Ivo and Mira to the local market to buy some eggs. I'm joking, there is no local market here, remember? In Mopija and many other small islands and atolls in the Pacific, you have to grow, gather, catch, or kill your food. Comment tu sais si, si c'est vieux, si c'est nouveau Tu regardes au soleil Ah, tu euh, regardes au soleil. So if you feel like eggs on the menu, you go to the bird island and collect some seabird eggs. Ah oui, c'est noir, oui. They taste just fine. Allez, le petit là dedans. Ok. Oui, là, il y a encore un autre. Oui. Ça, c'est le kabeka. Le kabeka Oui. Kabeka, ça. Avec le point... Oui, 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 le point, point, hein. The locals also eat the seabirds, which are abundant here. Wait, 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 from Cat Sanxis. Is it good? Yes, it's good. Is it good? Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Il faut, il faut brûler ça. Euh, C'est pour nettoyer okay. les feuilles et puis il y a les cocos euh, comme ça. Ou ouais, on a laissé. Uh -huh. ben, il faut brûler. Okay. Further, we met Hina, one of the first and most legendary inhabitants of the island. Hina first came in Malpija with her family in 1993, when she was 20 years old. There were about 100 people here at the time, many houses. But from 1993 to 1997, cyclones destroyed everything. 
No one was left on the island. Everywhere was brown. Nothing was left but sand. Et combien de temps tu habites ici? Ça fait longtemps, depuis de, de, ah, 2000. 2000? 16 ans. Kina spent two years in the army in France, but didn't like it. She didn't like having someone telling her what to do. Ah, et c'est là la batterie. Voilà. Okay. Et ça c'est la radio, tu peux communiquer les bâtons Je suis le patron de moi-même. Super. À mon petit, c'est le patron, le patron. Quand elle te dit, hey, allez, il va aller travailler. Ici, non. Je bois, je travaille un peu, je bois beaucoup. J'ai tout ici. In 2000, she returned in Malpija to make copra and enjoy her freedom in a paradise she calls home. Okay, now we're going to do the coconut experiment. He was opening a coconut and we'll see how many cups we're going to fill with uh, coconut water. Let's go, Timo. Okay. We we'll spill some. Whoa. And we keep spilling. Wow. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and support us in Patreon.